I was so excited to work with Scott, um, and I was so excited by his vision for the show. I feel like a show like this has been a long time coming. I've been really surprised and um, a little bit confused as to why there hasn't been this show before. And then when I heard he was doing it, I just really wanted to be a part of it. It was everything I was looking for in a show. I play Elodie. She's a uh, she's a prime Gen Zer. I think that she's such a fun character. She's so bright and and vivacious, and she's just so optimistic about the future potential of what we can do with technology. And uh, yeah, I get to share an incredible episode with an incredible cast: Tobey Maguire, Marion Cotillard, Forrest Whitaker. It's just it was great. What I hope that audiences take away from this show is uh, a real deep thought of the potential crisis that we're, you know, getting very close to and, and what we can do today in the now to make a difference. It's a, it's a very conscious, uh, smart show. It really makes the audience, it challenges the audience, it forces the audience to look at the things in a harder way and really take full responsibility of our acts and what we can do and how we can be better people. So I'm so proud to be one of the small pieces of this puzzle and it's a, it's a ride. The message of the story really is the, the kind of human spirit and the impact we can all have in the world and how we, how we can kind of transcend our conditions and, and, and you know, make the world a better place. To me, it, it really is a story of how all of us can take action and, and, and have a positive effect on the world. I appear in episode six of the series and the year is 2066. It's London of the near future and society has changed quite a bit in terms of how we relate to each other. Obviously you've got the backdrop of climate change but our episode is really a, a, a love story of sorts. So I'm mainly with uh, acting with Taha who is wonderful. Um, I play Hannah in Extrapolations, and um, Scott Burns wrote and directed the show, and it's about um, what will happen in the future if we don't do something to stop global warming, and it's a bit scary, but also hopeful. I think there's a hopeful message as well. My character knows a lot about what's going on and the dangers of global warming, and she's very aware, but she doesn't really do anything to stop it. So I think a lot of people can relate to that, and I think sometimes I wish I was did more to try to stop it. I think it's good to become aware of the dangers that we're in with global warming and um, just to start the conversation and for people to care about it more, and hopefully some policies will change and we will keep our beautiful Earth uh, as good as it is today. I play Geeta Mishra, who is a billionaire, she's an engineer, and she's a CEO, and has invented the first carbon neutral cargo plane. And she is a little bit impatient with the government's take on what they're doing with, about global warming, and so she decides to play God and take it into her own hands. It is a global problem, climate change is a global problem and hopefully we all will take responsibility for our behaviours and do something about it. I, I hope audiences ask the question, can we be the heroes of our future and maybe make change? My character is called Nicholas Bilton. Uh, and he is a uh, tech billionaire mogul um, in the near future and he traverses the whole uh, series in some form um, to, the, uh, to the final episode. But hopefully we look back at this TV show in many years to come and see what the worst case scenario would have been and that we did something different. I hope that this just highlights what needs to be highlighted and that people watch it with an open mind and, and an, uh, a feeling that 
certain things that happen in this series don't have to happen. I am definitely experiencing what has been happening. I, we all are. We all are experiencing what's happening in the global climate change. So there's work to be done. It's a visionary series that's a look at 30 years in the future about how human life may change as the climate changes. Do we get a handle on it or not? And with a glittering, incredible cast of some of the finest actors on the planet and um, a visionary look at uh, how life on Earth may look in 20 or 30 years. I play uh, Rowan Chopin, who's sort of an environmental anarchist, if you will, um, and believes in, in a cause that's decently controversial and sort of takes matters into his own hands to better the world. You know, I've always been very interested in environmental matters, you know, like almost 20 years ago now, I, I worked on An Inconvenient Truth with, with Vice President Gore and Davis Guggenheim. So after that movie, I spent a lot of time thinking, what else as a storyteller can I do? And um, it's never really left my mind, but right around the beginning of pandemic, I thought I, I really want to try and, and tell these stories this way. I want people to begin to think about the other things in their lives, the other news stories, where you'll find the seeds of climate change in all of them, whether we're talking about national security, food security, all of these things are the result of a climate problem that's growing. We need to stop making this a political issue. It's really not. It's a human issue. And we need all of our politicians and private enterprise and everybody to work together because this is the biggest existential problem of our time. It's amazing that we were able to get this group of talent together to tell these stories. The show is really powerful and I think thought-provoking and important. I'm very happy to be a part of it. I play a marine biologist in 2046 called Rebecca Shearer and technology has developed to the degree that we can translate whale song into human language and I am communicating with the last humpback whale. I study animals as they go extinct so it's very emotional and very um, poignant and moving and Meryl Streep voiced the whale and plays my mother which was a dream come true. I think my character is far more intelligent, far more dexterous with numbers than I am. I had to learn a lot of numbers, which was not easy. Um, but I think she has a big heart. I could relate to the empathetic side of her and, and the dynamic between her and her mother, actually. I'm uh, Omar Haddad in episode one and uh, Ezra Haddad, the son, in ep six. So I'm playing two different characters. I'm playing the father who works at uh, Cope and trying to make the world a better place. And uh, a couple of years later, you meet his son in this near future that is uh, so different because of climate change. And you, you can have a vision, a glimpse into the future and see how it affects our youth in the future. I play Carmen, who's a climate activist, and I think what I love so much about her is that she really is reflective of just all of the youth movements that have led the climate change movement generally. And so it was an honor to kind of tap into that and represent my peers. Extrapolations may seem so far off in this like larger than life world, but I think what it helps us do is use our imaginations to realize the direction that we're heading. And I feel like it does such a lovely job of finding so many avenues for us to engage in a climate change conversation, which can so many times feel unapproachable. I know it's even a new conversation for me to participate in because oftentimes it's hard to find what the connection is. And I think it does such an excellent job of drawing personal collections while making a great story. You're not watching a PSA.